Hello, welcome to the new training video by Kettler. Today I'm going to show you the new multi-gym by Kettler, the Delta XL. A training machine that basically includes a whole fitness studio. Jenny will demonstrate some exercises to you today on the Delta XL. As a rule, she will have warmed up properly beforehand on an exercise bike or cross trainer. Our recommendation, 10 to 15 minutes moderate warm-up before you then start the individual weight training exercises. Okay, the warm-up is done so we can get started with the first weight training exercise. The first weight training exercise, leg extensions. Place your feet behind the pads. Very important, maintain an upright posture with your chest facing forwards looking straight ahead. From this position, raise your legs against the resistance. Okay, Jenny, off you go. Exhale here. On the way back down, inhale. Exhale, inhale. We are primarily working out the upper thigh muscles around the knee here. Okay. Let's move on to the next exercise. We've now worked out the front of the upper thighs. Let's now work out the back of the upper thighs. So Jenny, if you could lie on the bench, on your stomach please. Now place your feet here, under the pads of the section at the top. From this position, raise your legs in a curling movement towards your buttocks against the resistance. Okay, Jenny, off you go. What is important during this exercise is that the hips are always fully on the bench and that we do not arch our backs. With this exercise, we are working out the backs of the upper thighs. Excellent, Jenny. Okay. So, if you could please stand up a minute. We need to adjust the seat for the next exercise. This is really easy on the Delta XL Multi-Gym. We simply loosen the clamp underneath and then push the seat up as far as it will go. In just one easy movement, we have a completely new sitting position. So, Jenny, take a seat, please. The next exercise is the butterfly. A workout for the upper chest muscles. So Jenny, from this position you can start to pull forwards. Pay attention to your breathing here as well. Exhale, inhale. Make sure you maintain an upright posture and your chest is out as well. Perfect. Very nice. Excellent. Okay, if I could ask you to stand up again briefly. To put the seat back down again, press the button again and then pull the seat forwards so that we are now in a straight position. And we can work the back or back shoulder muscles with the next exercise. This is the reverse to the exercise we've just done. This means Jenny will take a seat again here, but this time facing the machine. Take a seat, Jenny. To start the next exercise, we will also make a slight change here at the top. This is just as easy. Simply press the lever back and span the cable around the outer position once. And on the other side, on the outer position. So Jenny, back into position. This is the back reverse exercise. This means bringing the shoulder blades together, moving from the inside outwards. Keep your upper body straight at all times. And always look straight ahead, Jenny. Super. Back. Pulling your shoulder blades together. Very nice. Beginners should start with a slightly lower weight. 15 to 20 reps are recommended. Once you have finished your workout, you should have included about 10 to 12 different exercises with 15 to 20 reps overall for beginners. We would change the training system slightly for more advanced people to work with more weight and reduce the number of reps. We're going to make a slight change again for the next exercise. We're going to loosen both these grips here. 
and put them to the side. The next exercise is the chest press. We have a special device to lift the barbell bars onto. I will place it here for Jenny. Okay, the rack should be placed roughly level with your forehead. Slightly lower, Jenny. Move a little bit up, okay. A sweeping forwards movement with the bar, so that we now reach roughly upper chest height in the downwards movement. Okay, extend your arms upwards, exhale, inhale. What's really important with this exercise is that the lumbar spine is relieved. Your back must always be lying completely straight on the bench. We can strengthen it by placing our legs on the bench. Placing your legs at a 90 degree angle makes it even secure. Great, Jenny. Put it down again. We've just worked out the chest muscles. Our workout has been based on the training principle that we always work out one muscle group and then immediately afterwards its counterpart. This means it is now time for the next back exercise. For this we take the barbell from the rack again. Jenny will position herself on the machine again and take the bar from the rack. We now pull towards the chest first. The slightly simpler and safer version. The rowing exercise or latissimus pull down to the chest. Here we are primarily working out the latissimus dorsi muscle and also the shoulder and arm muscles. Then there's the second slightly more intense version. The cable pull to the neck. What's important is that you always maintain a very straight upper body. Look forwards, straight ahead, look a bit further forward, your head extending from your spine. Then carry out the exercise to your neck from this position. Okay. Thanks, Jenny. Super. I hope that you've had some fun with this presentation of the Delta XL. This was just a small selection. You can find more training recommendations and everything to do with training and nutrition on the ketfit.com website.